the ever-confusing world of vertical and horizontal lines. This is what we'll discuss in this video. Okay. So, first of all, um, if you have a graph with your y-axis and your x-axis, a vertical line, as always, is just like this. Okay. It will have a, a slope that is undefined. We'll see why that is in just a moment. Now, if you have a horizontal line, you have your y-axis and your x-axis. A horizontal line will look like this. And it will have a slope of zero, always. All right. A um, couple more pieces of information here. Vertical lines, they will always have an equation that looks like x equals some number. So, for example, this one here, if this was negative 3, the equation of this line would be x equals negative 3. Okay? The horizontal lines, uh, similarly, they have an equation that looks like y equals some number. So if this was y equals 2 right here, the equation would be y equals 2. Okay? A um, little side note. Uh, the equation of the y-axis, this, this line right here, that line right there, it has an equation that's x equals 0. x equals 0 is the y-axis. That's the equation of the y-axis. And over here, when we have our x-axis, which is horizontal, that's why I'm discussing it here, the equation of the x-axis is y equals 0. That's the x-axis, the equation of it. Okay? So, now let's talk about uh, what, what it looks like when we find uh, these kinds of slopes. So let's say we had the, the ordered pair 3, 5, and, I don't know, 3, 7. Okay? First of all, notice that both of the x's are the same. It's going to look like this. Okay? It's going to be a vertical line, and it's going to have an undefined slope. 7 minus 5, 3 minus 3, that's 2 over 0. Now, fractions mean divide. So what this is really saying, it's really saying 0 times what number equals 2? Well, since 0 times anything always equals 0, there's no answer. That's why it's undefined. Let me explain that again. Um, if we have 8 divided by 2, everybody knows that f that is 4. But the reason why is because it's really asking 2 times what number equals 8. That's why it's 4. So again here, this is saying 0 times what number equals 2. There's nothing. There's no number times 0 that equals 2. Okay. Now, let's take a look at uh, what will happen when we have a horizontal line with a slope of 0. So if we have, let's just, let's just use our same numbers, and now we leave y the same. So it's going to be y equals 3 would be the equation that this line is. Using our formula, 3 minus 3, 7 minus 5, 0 over 2. What this really means, just like here, this was saying 2 times what equals 8. 2 times 4 is 8. This is saying 2 times what number equals 0. 0. So this right here has a slope of 0, and it is horizontal. This one here has a slope that is undefined, and it's vertical. 